Today we are breaking down everything, and I truly mean everything we know so far about Survivor Season 45. Survivor 44 hasn't even finished yet, however, I think it's time to build the hype and excitement for Survivor 45. I've done all the research across the entire internet to deliver 10 new updates on the upcoming season. I don't want to waste any of your time, don't worry, there won't be any spoilers in this video. Instead, we'll be focusing on sneak peeks from Jeff Probst's new podcast, changes in the episode format, returning players, and much more. Number 10, Survivor is back. Let's obviously start this out with a bang and some good news with, yes, it's been confirmed from the people that pull the strings that Survivor, The Amazing Race, and Tough as Nails have all been renewed for new seasons. And although we have not been given a concrete premiere date for episode 1 yet, I'm a betting man and I'm going all in that Survivor 45 episode 1 will be coming out some Wednesday in September with a powerful 2 hour first episode. And it's actually very key and important to point out that we usually see Survivor renewed in blocks of two seasons, for example 41 and 42, and 43 and 44. However, this time around the Survivor Facebook page announced Survivor 45 was renewed earlier than we typically see. Number 9, Production Time. I tried to go back and watch season 1, but it is so painful it, for me personally yeah, yeah. to just look at myself. And on Jeff Probst's new podcast for Survivor 44, self-titled On Fire with Jeff Probst, he gives us so much information that is going to be used throughout this entire video. I know, I know, I know, another Survivor podcast, but let's be real, we're all Survivor super fans, and that means we're all trying to consume as much Survivor content as we possibly can, at all times. Basically, Jeff Probst confirms a typical Survivor season is broken down into three different stages of pre-production, production, and post-production, and literally, at the time of recording this video, the production phase of Survivor 45 has begun. That means the game has officially started and is in progress happening in Fiji. And to add to the zesty spice of this, Jeff Probst weirdly states that there's no such thing as the winner's edit on Survivor. Think about that for a second as we're moving into number 8, pre-production. If the post-production is the building of the story for television and production as well, you know, actually playing the game of Survivor, then obviously pre-production is getting everything sorted out for day 1 of game day. A major part of this pre-production is planning out and building the challenges that will be used throughout the season. This has been a huge, like, major your talking point throughout Survivor 44, as we have seen players like Matthew build the snake challenge at home, enjoy this clip of me with the snake challenge I built, and we have seen players like Carson receive flashbacks to 3D printing their own Survivor puzzles, enjoy this clip of me with my 3D printed Survivor puzzles. Yes, I am a major Survivor super fan, I get it. Anyway, during the On Fire podcast with Jeff Probst, he says that he actually prefers to reuse challenges, not for the simple reason of being lazy, but to reward players who make homemade Survivor challenges and go above and beyond with the preparation before leaving for Fiji. I have 3D printed this puzzle in my house and put it together probably a thousand times. I think it's a lesson that you should always be prepared. And now I've made the merge. It's definitely one of the best days of my life. So if you want to practice for the day, you get the call to go to Fiji and play Survivor, or you simply want to live the dream at home with bringing replica Survivor challenges to your doorstep, you should 100% check out Idle Plays. The Idle Plays Survivor 44 drop is available available until the Survivor 44 finale with five different Survivor challenges that I 3D printed for Survivor super fans. If you want to help support me and the channel, please consider checking out the first link in the description or idleplays.com and use the code SURVIVOR45 at checkout for a bonus 15% off. Anyway, enjoy this clip of me speed running to complete the fire puzzle. My heart's racing. Boom! Three minutes. 52 seconds. Number 7, Number of Days. Moving from some exciting news to some upsetting news that I'm sure a lot of you don't want to hear, Jeff Probst has said and has said on multiple occasions now that the 26 day version of Survivor is here to stay. But it's not all negative changes coming next season as number 6, Longer Episodes. If you've been watching my videos for any period of time, you know I always say any Survivor is better than no Survivor. And with that said, I can recognize the problems with a 26 day season and the ability to form a true social connection with the other players and all the rushed gameplay involved, that is a problem with the game itself and not a problem with the edited TV show that we all love to watch unfold. With the new advantages added into the game and tons of moving parts throughout an episode, it's hard to keep track of everything going on in a typical 60 minute episode. Although not fully confirmed at this point, it's looking like we'll be getting 90 minute episodes for Survivor 45, allowing for more camp life moments and room to breathe 
with all the advantage talk. That means we'll most likely be seeing a two hour first episode, 90 minute episodes all season, and finish the season with a three hour finale. You just need to look back to Survivor 43 episode two and see how refreshing that episode is at 90 minutes. Junior Deputy Water, play. This is my life now. <laughs> Gotta play it cool. Number five, Writer Strike 2023. Now, not fully confirmed to be happening yet, it's looking like we'll most likely see a strike taking place with the WGA in the near future. The WGA being the Writers Guild of America. Before you ask why this is important to Survivor, please let me explain real quick. Basically, the Writers Guild is a labor union to protect writers in all different types of entertainment like TV, movies, animations, and video games. The big issue is with the rise of streaming entertainment like Netflix fully taking over the world, this has blurred the rules and regulations on how much writers get paid. Long story short, the deadline for a new contract is May 1st, 2023, or every scripted show is going to be going on strike. Survivor being a reality TV show will still be good to go. And with having less TV shows on the market, they're going to be using those open slots and fill them with 90 minute episodes of Survivor. Moving into another moment from the Jeff Probst podcast, we have number four, the return of the auction. If you have an idea how to resuscitate the auction, bring it to us. My issue with the auction is the minute we introduced advantages, people just sat on their money and they wait for the advantage and now it's not interesting anymore. The fact that Jeff Probst is even mentioning the auction makes me feel like we'll truly be seeing it return with Survivor 45. Look, I don't want to preach to the choir 100% of you are watching this video, you're a hardcore Survivor super fan and you already know the answer on how to fix the auction. Have Jeff Probst start the auction by saying the classic phrase, no sharing of food, auction ends without warning, blah, 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 but also add in a part and clearly say no advantages at the auction. Boom, easy fix. Like Russell Hance famously once said, the game is flawed. I think there is a flaw in the game. A flaw in the game of survival. Yes. Okay. Apparently, Jeff agrees with Russell as he thinks the auction is flawed as well. And look at that, bringing up Russell Hance. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing as I'm on the road to passing Russell Hance and subscribers on YouTube. And as a bonus, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll be making a dedicated video interviewing Russell Hance. But first, we need to talk about number three, fixing the sit-out rule. Yes, that's right. On Jeff Probst's podcast, he said that the Survivor team is looking into ways to fix the sit-out rule for Survivor 45. Not because of Sandra Diaz Twine and her sit-out bench, but because of Survivor 44's very own Claire Rafson. If you're unaware, Claire made it seven days in Survivor 44 and never competed in a single challenge. The old sit-out rule used to state that you can't sit out in back-to-back -back challenges within a single episode. The Survivor production team would force people to either compete in the reward challenge or the immunity challenge. But because Survivor has avoided reward challenges in recent seasons, people have gotten around this rule. Claire, just to mark this down, you have yet to compete in an immunity challenge this season. Number two, Bruce is back. I have so much excitement right now, like I would love to explode and just jump through the camera. Let's go! Again, during the Jeff Broats podcast, he announced after the first episode of Survivor 44 when Bruce was evacuated out of the game that he had an open invitation to return to Survivor whenever he wished. And Bruce took up Jeff Probst's offer as soon as possible as it's been confirmed that he'll be returning for Survivor Season 45. However, it's looking like Bruce will be the only returning player as number one new players. Other than Bruce, the rest of the players on Survivor 45 are gonna be all first-time players. Now, the rest is only crazy rumors for now but it's looking like we'll be seeing the two tribe format return in Survivor 45 with two tribes of 10 people each. Meaning, if true, this would be the first 20 person season in the new era of Survivor. And if you want to see another Survivor video, click right here for every Survivor winner ranked worst to best.